There's been a mistake. You've accidentally given me the food that my food eats. There are so many things we do that become so routine that we often forget there's an easier way. So are you ready for 10 things you never realized you were doing wrong with food? Burger balance. Well, this tastes as delicious as Beyonce smells. Burgers are a classic dish that many people love. There are so many varieties of burgers that you can never get tired of them. But don't you just hate it when you're eating a burger and half of it falls out of the bun? And it's usually all the good stuff. But did you know that you've been eating your burger wrong all these years? How is it possible to eat a burger wrong? In order to make sure the contents of your burger don't spill out all over your plate, there's a technique you can use to keep your burger all together. When holding your burger, place your thumb and pinky on the bottom and your pointer, middle, and ring finger on top. By doing this, you're supporting the base of your burger and adding a backstop to keep everything in, allowing you to enjoy every last bite. Mm, I love this burger, so delicious. The next tip is to make sure you don't squeeze your burger too tight. You can now order the biggest burger and be able to keep all the good stuff in the bun so you can have the perfect bite every time. Creamy hot chocolate. Another hot chocolate? How many more of those are you going to drink? At least it's warm, unlike you. Hot chocolate is perfect for those cold days when all you want to do is snuggle up and enjoy a sweet, warm beverage. Do you remember those winter nights after coming home and wanting a comforting beverage to warm you up? Hot chocolate is so simple to make, and it's perfect to enjoy with those you love. Did you know that you've been making your hot chocolate wrong all these years? Making a hot chocolate is so simple. How could anybody be making it wrong? Honestly, there is no wrong way of making a hot chocolate, but if if you're wanting a simple way to make it even better, then you'll want to check this out. Many people often use water to make their hot chocolate, but if you're wanting to make your drink extra chocolatey and creamy, then use warm milk to mix it with. Can you please pass the milk? The milk enhances the flavor of the chocolate instead of watering it down. Simply put a cup of milk in the microwave or boil it on the stove, add it to your chocolate mix, and then you have made yourself the perfect hot chocolate. Are you ready to try the extra creamy hot chocolate? This is one simple step that is sure to change the way you make your hot chocolate. Don't forget those marshmallows. They're pretty much a standard requirement for a hot chocolate. Once you try making your hot chocolate with milk, you will never want to go back to just water ever again. Reheating leftovers. Food, not food, superfood, poison. A fresh cooked meal is always super tasty, but oftentimes we have a little too much left over and want to save it for another day. Reheating your food is good, but it's never the same as eating it fresh. Oftentimes we end up wasting the food and don't even eat the leftovers because it's never as good. Everyone always thinks to themselves that it's an easy dinner for the next day, but in reality people choose to eat something else because we crave that freshness. How can we reheat our leftovers in the microwave without drying it out or being overcooked? Do not fear, a solution is here. Place your food and a cup of water in the microwave and reheat together. The water absorbs the radiation, which helps prevent your food from being overcooked. I don't want you to feel like you have to eat here, especially if you already ate some crappy overcooked pasta. Overcooking your meal is the worst because it's never as good as the day before. Putting a cup of water in the microwave while reheating your meal also releases some steam, which helps prevent your food from drying out. You will never have to dread a leftover day again. This trick will allow you to enjoy your fresh cooked meal over and over again. McDonald's fries. French fried potatoes? Yep, french fries. McDonald's is the biggest name in the fast food business. The Golden Arches are a standout logo that you can always spot while driving in any city. Even though they are well known for their burgers, McDonald's has some of the best fries in the world. Their fries are so good, but eating them on the go can be a little tricky when you want to enjoy them with some ketchup. Then there's the great ketchup debate of dunking your fries in the ketchup or pouring ketchup all over your fries. Which do you prefer? Many people often and eat McDonald's on the go, so most people choose to find a way to dip their fries. This is often a challenge, but lucky for us, McDonald's has been inventive with their packaging, and they have provided the perfect solution to our challenge. I want to see solutions, gentlemen, solutions. 
You can actually use the french fry box to hold your ketchup without having to pour it all over your fries. All you have to do is take the curved back part of the french fry packaging and bend it backwards. Once you have a platform created, you can put your ketchup on there and voila! You have officially created the perfect platform to hold your condiments. Thank you, McDonald's, for having a creative solution for french fry loving customers on the go. Goodbye, messy fingers, and hello, ingenuity. Non-shrinking bacon. Then I wake up to the smell of crackling bacon. Mmm, bacon. Do you remember those days you would wake up to someone cooking bacon for breakfast? You slowly wake up and you know that you're going to have a great day because you are going to have a delicious breakfast. But did you ever notice that when you cook bacon, it shrinks down so low that you hardly have anything left? Cooking bacon on the stove reduces the size of the strip, and it makes you wonder where it went. Luckily, there's a trick to help with this dilemma so you never have to have your bacon completely shrink again. Instead of cooking your bacon on the stove, lay your bacon on a cookie sheet and bake it in the oven. This will keep the moisture, which will prevent it from shrinking. New Baconings is perfect. It's hilarious. Not only does baking it in the oven prevent it from shrinking, it also makes the cooking and cleaning process a lot easier. You'll be able to have the perfect size bacon on your burgers, at the breakfast table, and anything else you're enjoying it with. This trick also allows you to cook more at a time. Who doesn't love the idea of more bacon in less time with less mess and less shrinking? So next time, try baking it so you can have more to love because you deserve it. Oreo Dunk. There's only one cookie with something in the middle that solves life's problems, and that's an Oreo. Close your eyes and imagine the perfect Oreo cookie. The outer chocolate cookie filled with the iconic sweet cream filling is the perfect cookie sandwich combo. To make this treat even better, many will dunk it in a glass of milk. We all know that cookies and milk were meant to be paired together. They're the perfect complement to each other and enhance both the flavor and the experience. The fun about this is the creativity you get to have when dunking the cookie into the milk. There are many ways to perform the perfect dunk, but the dunk that you never realized you needed is sure to surprise you. Bet you never realized that you were dunking your Oreos all wrong this entire time. To prevent your fingers from dunking into your milk, slide a fork into the cream filling from the edge and dunk the entire cookie into the milk. This method provides the perfect dunk every time, ensuring that your cookie has the perfect milk-to-cookie ratio and that your fingers don't need to get messy. That's smart. However, the big question that everyone has on their mind is, how long do I dunk my Oreo cookie for? Well, you're in luck because we have the answer. The perfect Oreo dunk should last for three seconds. If you want to have fun with it, test it out with your family and friends and see what your favorite dunking method is. Cupcake Sandwich and then turn it upside down and make a sandwich. It's a bit like a cupcake burger. Cupcakes are the perfect treat to celebrate any special occasion, but they're also perfect to have as a treat any day of the week. The best cupcakes are super fluffy and topped with a nice dollop of icing. But do you struggle with getting that perfect bite? Either you have a bite with a lot of cake and a little bit of icing, or you have a lot of icing and not enough of the cake. This really throws off the balance and can make a cupcake appear to be super sweet. If you're treating yourself to a cupcake, you want to make sure that it's worth it. Today is the day you realize that you've been eating your cupcake wrong this entire time. The secret to getting the perfectly balanced cupcake bite requires a little bit of construction, or deconstruction may be a better term. Don't worry though, it's super easy. All you have to do is pull off the bottom part of the cupcake and place it on top of the icing. Once you do this, you'll have created a cupcake sandwich. The icing of the cupcake will be perfectly balanced with the cake part, so you don't need to worry about it being too sweet or accidentally getting frosting all over your face. Strawberry Tops But the baby likes strawberries, so no, I like strawberry. Strawberries are the perfect snack for any occasion, whether you're having a barbecue, hanging out with friends, or watching TV. Having a bowl of strawberries on hand is sure to make the moment even better. They're so sweet and delicious and can be enjoyed as an addition to a dessert or on their own. Have you ever tried eating them with whipped cream or chocolate? Now we're talking extra delicious. 
The most complicated part about preparing the strawberry is taking the green stems off. You can cut it, but do you ever feel like you're removing a big chunk of the actual fruit? Well, let's put the straw in strawberries for the perfect solution to this problem. To remove the stems without losing a lot of your strawberry, put a straw in the bottom of the berry and push upwards towards the stem. This will remove the stems efficiently and easily, allowing you the opportunity to eat perfectly prepared strawberries. This method is also fun for the whole family, and anybody can do it. He could have done it himself. It's really easy. Snacking should be fun and easy, and this hack is going to provide the solution to meet both of those needs. Pancake scoops. What's gross about pancakes with butter and maple syrup? You've completely abandoned the pancake part, now you're just eating butter with syrup on it. We can all agree that eating fluffy pancakes for breakfast is the perfect way to start the day. There's something so comforting about them when even simple toppings like butter and syrup can make something so amazing taste even better. The only downfall is that it feels like making pancakes can be super messy. It seems like no matter what you do, you get pancake batter all over the place, which makes for messy pancakes and a complicated cleanup. Let's be real, who wants a messy cleanup first thing in the morning? Nobody. Nobody. If you're ready to skip the mess and make more pancakes, then get yourself an ice cream scoop. Ice cream scoops aren't just for ice cream anymore. This versatile tool can be used in many different ways. An ice cream scoop holds the perfect amount of batter and helps you create a mess-free space. All you have to do is make your batter and scoop the perfect amount of pancake batter into your pan. Spend less time cleaning and more time making the perfect round and fluffy pancakes because you deserve Deserve it. Hot dog toppings. Hey kid, have a chili dog on the house. Are you planning on enjoying some delicious hot dogs this barbecue season? There's no greater feeling than gathering with friends and family and enjoying some food, drinks, and great company. What do you usually put on your hot dogs? Ketchup, mustard, relish, chips? If you really want to impress your guests, show them that they've been preparing their hot dogs wrong this entire time. How could that be? We all have our favorite combination of toppings on our hot dogs, and this lesson will help you keep more of it on your hot hot dog and less on your clothes. There's nothing worse than having a ketchup stain on your nice clean shirt. Oh, chili dog got me. Take all of your favorite toppings and put it on your bun before you add the hot dog. This technique will make sure you get a perfect bite of a hot dog every time. It also makes it less messy and easy to prepare. So the next time you eat a hot dog, try preparing it like this. You can thank us later. Stick around, we've got more awesome videos just for you. So check it out and just tap or click. Thanks.